what's going on everybody welcome back to football therapy with me your host yeah i hope you lot are doing well welcome to today's video which is about chelsea striker mishi batchway today's an important video because we're going to be talking about chelsea football club's striker issue and you know what this has been an issue for quite a while now. And Michi Batshuayi is certainly a very interesting case and we are going to get into that in today's video. But before we do get into today's video, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the bell notifications icon and don't forget to please like this video. All right, Michi Batshuayi, now I wanna talk about the young Belgian striker in this video, but I'm not going to go too deep into the numbers because you know what? Michy Batshuayi has got an excellent record. He's got a great record at Chelsea and I've actually done another video on Michy Batshuayi and I suggest that you go and watch it. The link to the video is in one of the cards above, but I suggest you go and watch it after you watch this one. So, batshuayi has got a good goal scoring record. In terms of minutes to goals, he's been very good for Chelsea, he's been very good for Dortmund, he's been very good for Marseille, he's been decent enough for Belgium. Um, he hasn't even been that bad for Crystal Palace. Granted, he had a poor time at Valencia, but generally, if you look at his record, the man scores goals. And Chelsea have a problem scoring goals. So what gives? Chelsea made a big investment in buying Michy Batshuayi for like, I don't know, 32 million or something. Bearing in mind, a lot of other clubs wanted him and Tottenham tried their hardest to get him as well. But Batshuayi came to Chelsea knowing that at the time Chelsea had an excellent striker in the form of Diego Costa. He obviously backed himself enough to challenge Diego Costa and knowing he's probably about five years younger than him, figured he could take his spot. And you know what else? Michy Batshuayi can comfortably play in a two striker system. He did it at Marseille in France to great effect. He scored a bunch of goals and also he got a load of assists and that's what you want from a striker that's in a strike partnership. So maybe he figured he could play alongside Diego Costa, but that didn't pan out. He still scored goals for Chelsea though. So, Frank Lampard's at Chelsea now. He's the man at the helm and he plays two strikers sometimes or certainly did in pre-season. He tried out the diamond and it looked alright. So you'd think, surely, well, one would think in pre-season, surely Batshuayi is going to get a chance in Frank Lampard's team. He's not as young and inexperienced as Tammy Abraham and he's played all around Europe. He's not as old and immobile as Olivier Giroud and generally he's got a very good attitude and he's not a disruptive player or, or a problem in the dressing room. He's a friendly guy who wants to play well for the team. So again, what gives? Well, I don't subscribe to any particular theory when it comes to why Michy Batshuayi has not been chosen at Chelsea. But the fact is, he's not been fancied by coaches. And we're talking Antonio Conte. We're talking Maurizio Sarri. And now we're talking maybe Frank Lampard. There are rumours, and I've said this before in this channel, that Batshuayi, for as good as a goal scorer he is, and although he's not disruptive or a problem, apparently there's an it, there's a rumour rather that he's poor at retaining tactical instruction. Now, if that's the truth, then you can understand why both Maurizio Sarri and Antonio Conte did not fancy him, because Italian coaches are meticulous with tactical instruction. Granted, they were very different coaches, Sarri and Conte, but they both want you to basically soak up all their instructions and do it on the pitch. And although they could probably see Batshuayi is physically strong and he's a good finisher and probably could deal with the Premier League quite well, certainly has when he had, was given the chance, if he's not basically taking in what they tell him to do off the ball, occupy this space, make this run, go to this person when this happens, if they're not doing any of that, then you can kind of understand why the modern coach won't pick a player because at this level in the Premier League, every player is so important. Just look at the goalkeeper, how in modern football, how important the goalkeeper is that they can play football. You can't just be an amazing shot stopper anymore. You need to kind of be an outfield player to be at the very top echelons of football, like, you know, your Liverpools, your Barcelonas, your Man Cities, all these teams that are doing really well at the moment, their goalkeepers can play football. So it's kind of the same with the strikers. Sure, like a goalkeeper needs to be able to stop shots, a goal score, a striker needs to be able to score goals, but they also need to be able to do everything else. Like I said, run the channels, be good defensively, be good defending in, in your own box, be good attacking in your own box, um, press, 
a lot of pressing and running and if you think about how Frank Lampard's Chelsea or how he wants his Chelsea to play there's a lot of running and a lot of pressing. So this could be a fitness thing right? Frank's often said in press conferences recently that he wants his players to run a lot. One of his mega or big concerns of um, hudson Adoy coming back, he obviously doesn't doubt his ability and really believes in his talent, but he wants him to be mega fit. And maybe he doesn't believe that Shroy is quite fit enough to do that yet. But then again, Olivier Giroud doesn't do much running and never had any pace to lose. But maybe that's a bit of an unfair comparison because we know what Giroud can offer and it's very different. So if Giroud's talents are very different, and he's not going to be the starting striker in terms of the mould of Frank Lampard's Chelsea. That does leave you with Tammy Abraham and Michy Batshuayi. Tammy Abraham might be in the mould of Frank Lampard's Chelsea or in the mould of the striker who he wants in his Chelsea vision. He's young, he's tall, he's strong, he runs and he presses and presses and presses. Maybe that's Batshuayi's biggest fault for Frank Lampard, the lack of running and the lack of pressing. But it's come to a point now that Chelsea are creating a lot of chances and not necessarily chances that are com coming from combinations with the striker they're just happening in the 18 yard box and no one's finishing them off Batshuayi can be the man to finish those chances off he's a sniffer in the box, he's a poacher he's confident on the ball, um, he can take shots early he can hold on to possession very well um, and take his time, he can do it all and he can finish the guy's a goal scorer and if the rest of your nine outfield players are carving out chances maybe slowly Batshuayi could learn the rest of the tactical stuff, but at the moment, if you need someone to score goals, surely he's your man. Michy Batshuayi has scored two great goals in pre-season, and one of them was a great example of what I've just said in terms of the ball came to his feet. He was off the bench, by the way, as well, so he hadn't like settled into the game. Uh, the ball came to his feet. He did really well to hold on to possession for like one second, two seconds, what seems like an absolute eternity, and did a superb rifled finish into the roof of the net. Yet Chelsea have played three competitive games since and he hasn't featured at all, not even off the bench. Although he did play yesterday for Chelsea's development squad, and you know what? Scored two goals and apparently could have scored two more. I know it's at a different level, but he just showed this is what I do. And you know what? Chelsea coach Frank Lampard was sitting at the sidelines and he was watching. So I guess it's time to bring in the Belgium, right? I mean, to finally put to rest the mysterious case of Michy Batshuayi at Chelsea. This guy that is a good age, he's physical, he doesn't dive, he doesn't flop over, he hasn't got a problem with English football, he scores goals when given the chance. And yeah, he hasn't got an attitude problem. It just finally needs to be put to rest. What the deal with Michy Batshuayi is, give him a run in the team. I know Frank Lampard wants to play Tammy Abraham. I feel like with Giroud, Giroud will always have a place. He will always be an option and a different option and have something to offer this Chelsea side. But Batshuayi deserves a chance. Another really important thing to note and something that I mentioned before is... Michy Batshuayi can comfortably play in a two-striker system. Now, obviously, in pre-season, we saw Frank Lampard deploy his midfield diamond, which looks really impressive at times, and that has two strikers. Now, Frank Lampard really, really, really wants to press from the front. When Tammy Abraham plays, because let's be honest, Giroud can't run around, so he's not going to be pressing from the front so much. Tammy Abraham can. He's a bundle of energy, and he generally probably knows what to do and what channels to run. When you press as a lone striker, it feels kind of hopeless because there's so many passing channels around you for the opposition defence to play out of. But when you've got a strike partnership that know how they press together and move around together, suddenly those passing channels are blocked off and pressing doesn't seem so hopeless. If Lampard can develop a strike partnership of Tammy Abraham and Michy Batshuayi properly, then they could basically effectively press from the front really well. The issue is in pre-season they I think played quite selfishly because they were trying to impress the gaffer and score goals themselves but if they learn to play for each other and they learn to move in synchronicity in terms of pressing they could be a great partnership. In terms of like if you look at their skill sets as well Tammy could absolutely play on the shoulder 
um, and try and break through and split defenders or run the channels, drive um, defenders away from the ball or, you know, make them occupy different spaces. And Mishi can absolutely just be their player in the box. When a ball falls to Tammy's feet recently, he doesn't seem to be performing. Maybe that's like a nerves thing. But Batshuayi, I feel like he feels like he's got nothing to lose. He's got so much experience playing football around Europe. And I feel like if a ball comes to his feet in the box, no matter what the opponent, he'll score. He's scoring the goal that won Chelsea the league. He's scoring away in the Wanda Metropolitano in Madrid, the first defeat for Atletico Madrid there. And for me, he won't be phased. And for Chelsea at the moment where they just need goals, just stick a goal scorer in there. Rotate Tammy Abraham in, give him the confidence. He's got the number nine shirt, do you know what I mean? And play him as a two with Michy or bring him on after Michy. Giroud can be rotated. I think he'll understand that now. But it's just peculiar how he hasn't been given the chance. But if he's up to fitness, he's scoring goals in the development squad, he scored goals in pre-season, surely Frank Lampard needs to give him a chance. And although I think the two-striker system would work really well for Batshuayi um, if he learns to actually develop good chemistry with a strike partner who would probably be Tammy Abraham, he could still play as the lone striker himself. He wouldn't... <laughs> you can't imagine him pressing very well as the lone striker, but if Chelsea are playing a 4-3-3 as opposed to a 4-2-3-1, maybe all three forwards can press together and they can just try and feed him in the 18-yard box. And you know what? He, it's not just short-range finishes or scrappy goals. He can score long-range goals, Batshuayi, as well, with both feet. So he deserves to be given a chance, in my opinion. Will we see him play against Norwich? I will be doing a match preview for that game in a couple of days, but I want to get your thoughts on it because I'm kind of baffled. Do you agree with me? Do you think he could play in a two striker system? Do you think he should be deployed up by himself? Do you think he's not good enough for Chelsea? Is there a reason why the coaches have never fancied him? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Also guys, check out some other videos on my channel. I've started a new series called Talking Chelsea, where I welcome guests onto my YouTube channel. And we talk about Chelsea for about half an hour. I've had Eunice and George Benson on. I've got a couple of great guests lined up as well. Check that out, check out recent videos. Just browse the channel a bit. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video want to follow me on social media as well at football yannick on twitter and the instagram at football yannick but other than that guys i'm out so you lot enjoy the football and i will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outlined in chuck in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby